Hey everyone, it's Wally Dellenbach and I want to introduce you to one of my drum sets out of my collection. Um, this is an Amber Starlight from RCI and um, it's fitted with 100% um, Ludwig hardware and 1970s badges. Uh, a little bit about the kit. Uh, the Tom, the mounted Tom, we'll start there. It is a 12 by 14 6 lug and uh, the bass drum is uh, 16 by 24 and then when I got the kit originally it was a 16 by 16 floor and then 16 by 18 floor tom and I just and that's in the background and I just recently bought this uh, 18 by 20 floor and uh, man it's a monster I love it um, I'm trying different combinations right now um, with the 18 and the 20 and the 16 and the 20 is and that's what you're looking at right now 12 16 and 20 with it with the bass drum of course and um, I'm really liking the sound of this setup right here. Um, a lot of finality when you come down on that 20 inch floor tom doing a roll. Um, the snare drum that I'm really starting to, to love um, is that Black Beauty back there, 6.5 by 14. Uh, really good warm sound to it. Really dig it. Uh, the heads I play on this, on, on this set is uh, their pinstripes and um, I, I kind of did some switching out on some heads. When I, when I originally got this kit I put pinstripes on uh, batter and resonant and um, I did some swapping and so on and I wound up taking some heads off the bottoms. Anyway, enough said about that. Uh, the bass drum has a pinstripe resonant and then I got a power stroke 4 um, as the batter which uh, I don't use any muffling in the bass drum whatsoever and uh, really cool sound. Um, as I said, 1970s badges on this throughout. They're not sequential. Um, it's kind of hard to come by, I guess, unless you tear a whole kit apart. And I'm not, uh, I'm not that much of a butcher to do something like that. Um, these were basically one-off shells where I got the badges um, off of eBay. So, and it's the same with the, the actual, the hardware came off of a set. Um, I still have the set, but I just put different hardware on it. So it's uh, error correct 1970s hardware. And, uh, of course, I got the hot dog rail mount, bass drum cymbal mount. Um, I've got no problem with putting the 24-inch right on that bass drum. Um, I do have a lock mounting system on it now where I've got the uh, broached eyelet. And uh, I've got a lock on the, on the L-arm, so I'm not afraid of the, the arm falling over. Um, <clears throat> that's one of the things for you guys who do bass drum cymbal mounts. Make sure you have those um, fitted into your... P1216D classic mounts. <laughs> okay. And of course these are 1970s Atlas stands. And uh, it's a great sounding kit. Now I did I did go back to playing, I've been playing a Tama um, double bass pedal. It was like a pre-iron Cobra. And, uh, but man, I'm, I went back to my, uh, and I did that for years. I played that bass drum pedal for years. And um, did a video not too long ago about rebuilding Speed Kings, and I put a rebuilt one on my set, and I'm just, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to go back to playing a double bass pedal again. <laughs> really cool. Um, so once again, an, an RCI kit fitted with uh, Chicago Chrome and 1970s badges, and uh, thanks to Romano Catone and all the good crafts, the great craftsmanship at RCI. It's a tremendous job on this set. I love playing it. I'm going to shoot some videos uh, playing some riffs on it here. That'll probably be the second and third and fourth, whatever whatever I feel like. Now, um, a real quick thing Lud um, with these shells, of course, they're being RCI. Um, they do have RCI stamps in them, and that's that's cool. I like that because um, I'm not going to badmouth Ludwig Acrylic, but um, I, I tell you, RCI shells, I think, are superior to even Chicago. You know, there's that classic thing with, you know, and there's nobody going to argue that more than me. But being a Ludwig purist and playing RCI kits, man, I really appreciate the quality uh, and the craftsmanship of these shells. They're outstanding. They're second to none. Okay, so if you're in the market, um, you know, you could do what I did. I ordered these shells, and I sent Romano the badges, and he snapped them on for me. Okay, of course, I had all the hardware, so he sends me the shells, and I assemble the drums. Um, if you guys ever think about maybe swapping kits out, that's a good way to do it. It's very inexpensive to do it that way. So, um, once again, Wally Dallenbach, thanks so much, everyone, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm very humbled. Um, you guys contact me through Facebook and call and 
Uh, it's, a, it's a true pleasure. So signing off, everybody take care. Have a good day. Bye.